In the previous video, I introduced a target data set, explained its structure, and then created a, dom a knowledge base to hold the required domains for title, marital status, and gender. I also created a composite domain named title enrichment. I will use this, now use this title domain, title enrichment domain, to create business rules. These business rules are will be called composite domain rules or CD rules within uh, DQS. So the first rule I will create is a simple rule. I will give the name of the desired title values. And now I will simply pick gender because that will be the domain that I'll be used to check the condition against. Next I will choose where the value is equal to M for male. And so where that condition is true, I then go over to the right hand section, do then, where that con condition is true, then I want title, the title domain, to have the value of MR. So that is all that I need to do for that simple rule. Um, again, this rule simply uses a single domain value, checks that value. If it is then true, it populates the title with MR. The next rule I will create will be similar, but instead of using one domain, it will use multiple. So this is for a married, oh, excuse me, a single female. For the gender, I want to have its value equal to F for female, where that is true. Then I am going to populate the value of the title to be MS. Now, I also need to check the mar marital status to make sure if that value is S as well. If I come over here and click on the add a new condition, Unfortunately, I have not selected a new domain. I'm still in the gender domain, and I have a new condition as part of the gender domain. This is not what I want, so I'm going to delete this. And this time, I'm going to ensure that the gender domain is not selected when I click the Add a New Condition button. So, as you can tell, it is selected right now because there is a blue box around it. If I click, simply click away from the gender domain, and then click the Add a New Condition, I can now use another domain as part of my condition. So I can choose an AND or OR logical operator. I'll choose AND. So where my where the marital status is equal to S for single. Now my domain rule is complete. The last one, it's very similar to this one. This one will be for a married female. So my gender, I will have the value equal to F for female. And I will populate the title, MRS. Make sure I select away from the gender domain. Click the condition, new condition again. Click an add and the marital status domain with its value equal to M for married. Now my three required rules have been created. I then click finish to complete this section and publish. As you can see, my new title knowledge base has been created with all the required domains, composite domain, and composite domain rules. In the next video, I will use a data quality project to actually process this data.